Hi and welcome to this Photoshop training tutorial. This uh basic um layer tutorial, some of the tricks to show you how to not keep starting your documents so over. Photoshop actually does have a histories palette that actually lets you go back to like the beginning of your document and change parts that was messed up. But I actually don't really like to use that because um it's pretty much um deleting everything you've done. So it's better to create things on layers. Um, I'm just going to open up a new document here. And right here, you can actually change your resolution. Um, 300 is standard for print. So if it's something that you're going to be using for print, um, 300 is the best. This is um, something you could do while checking your file sizes so you won't have an extremely large file in a extremely poor quality file as well so I'll just leave the width and the height the same just for this test uh, actually I will change it a little bit you can change the size of your document after you set it I just change the canvas size Just do a standard letter file. Okay, in this palette here, you'll see your layers. Um, you can add as many layers as you want with this um, little page tool down here. Just, just keep clicking on it and adding layers. You can right click on them to delete layers or to duplicate layers, whatever you need. Also can add layers with this layer padded here and just go down to add new layer, just new and layer and add to another layer. You can also name them basically in that little tool selection thing here you can name the layer here or you could just double click here and name the layer here I'm just gonna name this layer girl and this layer uh, if I can click it there we go I I'm just gonna delete these two layers I have a trash can there to delete those two bad layers that I have just going to show you some of the tricks um, of and benefits of using layers. Here's the I file I actually grabbed from official PSDs. I have a link on my website, which is the digital magicians.com. That's T H E digital magicians.com. You can check that out. The link is on there. It has some great images there that you can use. Just gonna scale this up. Just by dragging those two images onto this new canvas, it automatically creates layers for them. I have to delete these two. Just gonna scale her up. Now some of the benefits of working with layers is all of these these two images is kind of independent of itself. So I can kind of just almost destroy one without destroying the other one. So you could actually pretty much let me just increase the size of this paintbrush here. Paint on the background of this layer, but you'll see it doesn't touch the girl layer in front. But if you was gonna use a paintbrush or any other tool 
with these two images, it's always a good idea to add another layer. Create everything on separate layers so that you won't damage anything. So now that you see I paint it there, you'll see I can just move that independently on its own layer. And you got a lot of tricks that you can do with layers, like a lot of filters, like here. With her in the front, you can change the opacity here, kind of make it like a ghost effect, so you can see through to the dragon's eye. Or you have like these multipliers here that actually has some nice effects with layers sitting on top of each other. And if you want to add text, text automatically add itself to its own layer with this T tool here. Let's give that a second. I actually have a game plan in the background. It's kind of slowing down my system. You'll see the text layer up there with the big T. You can move it any way you want. Pretty much do the same thing. Scale it. Change the colors here. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. And once you have it selected, you can change the colors with the color palette. Got not a good color to select. You usually try red, especially with dark backgrounds. Red stands out. And there's a good way to design things like flyers and stuff like that using images you can hide a layer if you don't want to work with that layer at the moment and it's definitely a good way to work with images um, and non-destructive because um, working on different layers definitely saves you the trouble of going back if you make any mistakes um, and thanks again for listening to this tutorial and watching this demo I have plenty of uh, demos on my blog you can find me by looking up my um, info as also again is um, the digital magicians .com, and just click on blog we have a lot of training videos there that you can view and thanks again